Hey everyone, Nightland Tutorials here, bringing you another awesome tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make realistic gold gradient. As you can see right here, we have gold gradient spelled out with really good looking gold gradient overlay with an outline of gold gradient so that it gives it a little bit of depth and makes it look more realistic. So let's get started. Go to File New. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to do gold. You're going to do the width, 1100. And the height, I'm just going to do 700. And you can leave the resolution at 72 or whatever else yours is at. And click OK. And the first thing you want to do once you have your new project open is insert whatever you want to do a gold gradient on. I'm just going to do text, but you can also do black and white images if you want to. And the text I'm going to use is just going to be gold in all caps. So I'm going to type that out. And then I'm going to leave it towards the top. And then I'm going to paste this image in. I'll put a link in the description for this image. And we're just going to use this image to get the colors we're going to use for the gradient so that it looks really realistic. And to achieve this awesome gradient and get the colors right, we're going to grab our shapes. Make sure you grab the square. If yours isn't the square, or the rectangle, then right click on it and go to rectangle tool. And then up here at the top, make sure fill is selected so that it's a solid color and not a path or anything. And then you make a new layer and you make a square. Hold shift to make a square, it doesn't have to be too big. That'll work. And then you just duplicate that layer. Duplicate, you need four squares. Alright, so once you have the four squares, you're going to space them out evenly. Or it actually doesn't matter if they're even, it just looks nicer in the process. And then after you have them all spaced out, you're going to click on the top layer and the bottom layer of your four squares. And then right click and select merge layers. So now they're all together and it will be easy to work with. And we're going to be using the eyedropper tool and the paint bucket tool a lot. So the hotkey for the eyedropper tool is I to select that really fast. And you can press the G key to get to the paint bucket tool. So you can switch back and forth really fast. And the first thing we're going to do is zoom in. You can do that by holding Alt and scrolling on your mouse. And you're just going to select the darkest color on this gold bar. And then you press G and fill in the top square with that darkest color. And you go back to your eyedropper tool by pressing I and scroll in a little bit more. And where it starts the transition right here, you want the little bit lighter orange. And then you're going to zoom out and fill in the next square. So as you can see, it's lighter than the top one, but still not too light. You're going to zoom back in with your eyedropper tool. And get the other side of the gradient to where it's lighter. And you can just scroll over fill that one in. As you can see they're each getting lighter than the previous. And the last one, we're going to get the lightest color on there. You want this yellow and not the white, so just select the yellow. And then scroll down and fill in the last square. And you can zoom out. And so you have these four squares. And to turn this into a gradient, you're going to double click on your gold layer or whatever your text layer or your image layer that you want to put a gold gradient on. You're going to select the checkbox for a gradient overlay and click on it so that you can edit this. And right here where it says gradient, you're going to click on the box of the colors and that should pull up your gradient editor. And then you're going to want eight little tabs. So you're just going to click underneath the bar to add a new tab. And you're going to put 8 in there. And you want them spaced out evenly. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to do this really fast. Alright, you're going to space out as even as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Alright. And once you have eight of them on there, you're going to double click on the first one 
and your eyedropper tool should be selected and you're going to click on the top box and that will give you your color and click OK and then go to the next tab, double click and go to your next box and you're just going to go down the row and down your column of all the colors and once you do the fourth one which is your lightest color you're going to go back to your darkest color and you do them all over again click OK oh I forgot to mention once you have this made you go up to right here this name and you can type in whatever you want gold and you click new and that'll save it as a preset so you can click on it and use that preset anytime you want there's a previous one I made and here's a bronze I made so I can select that anytime I want I think I made a copper one yeah there's copper so I made copper, bronze, and gold. You do those by the, doing the same process. So then you click OK once you have that done. And this looks pretty good, but you can change it up to make it look a little bit better. I like to change the angle on it so it's not perfectly 90 degrees. And you can turn it whichever way you want. And quick little tip, whenever you type in whatever you want, you can drag to drag the gradient around, up or down. So you can position it how you want it. Alright, that looks good. So now once you have the gradient how you like it, you're going to click on Stroke. And that will put a line around all your text or your image. And it will do it in black. You can change the size up a little bit. I might put this at 4 for this size of the text. And then Fill Type right here. You're going to put that to gradient and click on your gradient box and click on the gold gradient that we just made and click OK. And you can change this to a different angle than the other so that it, they don't line up exactly and it gives it better look. And I'm going to add a drop shadow just because I think that makes everything pop better. So I'm going to do that. Once you have it how you like it, click OK, and now you're done. You just made an awesome gold gradient that you can use very quickly and easily on anything you want. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like and favorite, and it would really mean a lot if you shared it to any social media you have, and subscribe for more.